Hey, es hora de que activen los subtítulos, because today's video, it's all gonna be in English. So let's get started with all the new things from Thermal Take. Hello everyone and welcome to another video! And guess what? We've been invited to Taiwan! Well, not precisely invited since we cannot really travel right now due to COVID-19 and all these things. But basically what we had was uh, kind of a Zoom meeting, something like a... Yeah, we went there virtually to know about all the new products that they're actually launching in this season. So Thermaltake got a lot of surprises up their sleeve and that's gonna be very interesting so we're gonna take a deep look into many of the new things that they're bringing so let's catch up and roll up the video hello good morning from taiwan i'm joshua this is james he's gonna help me with demonstrating our uh, 2020 new lineup chassis and let's begin with our first full tower chassis here it is called core pa yeah, that's a lot of fans and it support DPD5. Uh, this will play pump, as you can see here. And it can turn into an open fr frame chassis very easily by remove the screws in the front. Just take it out. I don't know if you can see well. This is a glass safety. We have it around four corners. And for the top panel here, you just use your thumb to remove it, slide it out. And that's how you take out the front panel and back frame. You need to remove two screws and take it out and turn it into an open frame chassis. And for the PCIe uh, slot we have here, you can turn it to vertical or horizontal. As you can see in the back here, we have six metal plate, one, two, three, three on top, three at the bottom, to mount your hard drive so each plate can hold two SSD with one 3.5 HDD. So we total have six, and it here, this in the, metal, uh, in, the, in the middle, you can do wall mount with it. We have two USB type, uh, USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0. Uh, one type C, one headphone jack, microphone jack. Okay, and uh, the MSRP for this one, we are targeting for 199 US dollar and you can probably see it in the market uh, around July. About it, let's move on to our next chassis here. This is DistroCase 350P. As you can see in the back, uh, this acrylic tank is also a chassis and it can host up to one liter of uh, liquid coolant. Uh, yeah. So we have 24 LED on top and 24 LED in the back. And this chassis can support our latest software such as TTRGB Plus or Neon Makers. And it comes with a D5 pump at the bottom. Okay. Uh, also, this PCI bracket can turn into vertical or horizontal as you like. And I don't know if you can see, can you um, zoom in this hinge? What is that for? Uh, this is for you to open up this black metal motherboard bracket so you can hide all your oh, all the wires and cables. Everything. Yeah, in the other side right here. <laughs> oh, that's a good yeah. idea. Okay, then the MSRP for this, we are right now we are still uh, undeciding, but it's around uh, 600 and you can probably see them in the market around July. Okay. Uh, just and one question from the previous yes. case. Um, uh, the one PA? that ha yes, the one that has the sliding, mm, the sliding glass on top. How is that one secured for it actually not be well, oh, not, okay. not to slide, to slide off when you move it or something? After you slide in, you uh -huh. have to use your front temper glass to cover it up. Ah, so, all right. So, so stopping, so we can stop this uh, top panel to sliding out and after that you have to use screw to secure it on the four corner. All right, That's now I get it. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Now while this case might not be everyone's cup of tea, 
Boy, does it make a statement. This is um, Micro ATX mm -hmm. chassis. We previously have uh, HT600, which is uh, a little bigger than this one. And this is a baby version of our HT600. We, we call them HT200. It comes with black and uh, snow edition. Let me swing it open. Both are tempered glass door. And you can showcase your graphic card motherboard and power supply. And the other side. Oh, it's also glass on the other side. Yeah, it's also tempered glass on the other side. And the other side, we have uh, your place for storage. You can install three 2.5 SSD, and or you can take this bracket out and install two uh, 3.5 HDD here. And on top, you can install two uh, 140 millimeter fans. And uh, we have two more secret places for the storage. Like, this is the you know, white one right here. So you can take this I don't know, nose out. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hide two more SSD inside this uh, metal, metal place next to the AIO. Wow. And yeah, you can uh, screw them right here and put it back. Uh, which way? <laughs> and push yeah. right in. Then. And it gets hidden. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then for the I.O. here, we have two USB 3.0, one Type-C, and a headphone microphone jack. Okay. And the uh, MSRP for them is uh, 139 for the black edition, and one, uh, 139 for the black edition and 149 for the wire edition. Here we have is uh, mini ITX cases oh, that's here. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, I'm liking it so much. It's like a fridge. Yeah. I love it. Son una pecerita. Si. Previously we have the Tower 900, which is a lot bigger than this. Then because we uh, receive a lot of comments and we always do big cases. So this time we wanted to do some small cases for this year. So this is the Tower 100, comes with black and snow edition. We have three tempered glass on each side, the front, and, okay. And uh, on top here, we have a big air photo on top. Wow. So um, all, the, all the uh, inputs from the motherboard are on top, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Here? Yeah. The multiple IOs are here. Yeah, and I you can so. install um, fans on top. I think it's 140. And if you take this bracket out, then this is how you remove the front panel or side panel here. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, so, and we have, yeah, as you can see, we have two chamber here. Uh, for the bottom chamber, this is where the PSU goes, and for the top chamber here, this is where the Wi-Fi card and motherboard uh, RAM goes. And mm -hmm. because this is a MOGA sample, so we, I don't have uh, the button to show you, but I can assure you that we have uh, we will make a lot of holes here and, and do more ventilation for this one. And, That's all right. Okay, then. Even though this is a mini ITX case, but actually we designed it to fit an uh, ATX power supply. So that's awesome. That's just uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, you don't see it in market because usually people do ITX, they do ITX power supply and make it as small as possible. But this is the size we kind of wanted. For the other side here, this is where you uh, mount your SSD. So it okay. doesn't have any support for uh, three and a half inch drives, right? Just, uh, just uh, the small ones. No, no, you can support uh, the big ones. Uh, let me, let my assistant take out the. Sí, sí, le queda. Sí. <laughs> and there it is. The they look nice. Okay, oh. so it has space for all. That's good. Yeah. This is how the back looks. So oh. You can install like two, three point five uh, HDD here. Were, were installed. One three point five, one two point oh, one one two point five as you like and you can uh, 
do your cable management here. Mini servidor. Let's see. <laughs> I'm liking this one a lot. For the MSRP here, uh, for the black one is $79.99 US dollar, and for the snow edition is $89.99. And hopefully you can see them in the market around September. That was impressive, but let's take a deep look also into the power supplies that Thermaltake is bringing up the table. So roll the video, please. All right, the first power supply you see is Top Power TF1 1550 watts 80 plus titanium power supply. This power supply uh, is designed for uh, overclockers. So, <sighs> wow. Yeah, this is a, our first analog power supply at 80 plus titanium efficiency. And right now we are working with uh, overclocker to test them, and the result was pretty good. And Top Power PO for RGB, it is a 80 plus platinum power supply, which is only 140 millimeters wide. So you can see here, it's very, very small for 80 plus platinum soft power supply. We have a new technology here. It's called um, single side SMD. So as you can see here, all the IC chip are built on the top side and we have nothing at rear, which means no heat can accumulate on this side, which is very good because the fans are built on, on top. top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, also here we have a zero cable platform here. So between these two PCB board here, there's no wire between them because we, did, we weld it together, so which is create more space for the, the, the PSU and also uh, less energy waste between the... Uh, of course, we always uh, have our uh, power supply built with low ripple noise, low voltage regulation, 100% uh, Japanese capacitor, and uh, the MSRP for them is 119, 129, and 139, and hopefully you can see them in, I think, July. All right, then next power supply we have here is Top Power GF2 ARGB. And as you can see, it has RGB on the side. And you can sync with RGB motherboards such as Asus Aura, Gigabyte. And in case you don't have RGB motherboard, you know, we have built two buttons here. One is color mode, one is for your color change, 100% Japanese capacitor and 10 year warranty. And the MSRP for them are at 129, 139, 149. And you can see them in the market around uh, September. And next here we have is our, the only ITX power supply for this year. Their top power SFX. Wow. From 150 watts to 650. Mm, very um, nice. Yeah. Equipped <laughs> with 900 millimeter hydraulic bearing fan. The last power supply we have here is a Smart BM2 from 450 watt to 750. It is 80 plus bronze efficiency. It comes with also DC to DC layout, semi-modular black cable here. We have a 140 millimeters rifle bearing fan. And the MSRP for them are 59, 69, uh, 64, 69, 74. Mm -hmm. And you should see them in the market in July. All right, that's very good. I can see these ones being best sellers here in Latin America. <laughs> yeah. Well, now let's take a look about something that this brand is famous for. Let's talk about cooling, all-in-one kits, and some other things because there's even some surprises in RAM, RAM memory. So let's take a look. Okay, so is everyone can hear me? Yeah, yes. loud and clear. Okay, so let's start with the cooler stuff. But before I go into introduce the coolest product, I want to quickly go over our software, Neon Makers. Okay, so this software is really creative, powerful, and fully customized lighting editing software. Right now, it can support by the Green Quad, Green Trio, and Flow DX. All of the products is the high-end level for each category, which means right now you have more options to personalize your lighting effect and apply to your system. Okay, starting with the Pure Duo. It's featuring with two addressable LED rings. You can see here the inner ring and the outer ring. Okay, and each ring has nine LED. You can use the, because it's the ARGB version, so you can use the Marvel software <laughs> like the ASUS, ASRock, Gigabyte, or NSI to switch the lighting mode or the lighting speed. 
Or you can also use the controller we give you in the color box to do the same thing. So now you have more options, you can decorate your system. And for the NSRP, 120 is 39.99 and 140 is $49.99. The price is for, okay, sorry. Uh, we have two pack and 39.99 is for two pack. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, un paquete. De dos. Okay. Sí. So, next. Uh, this is the top fan. Okay, as you can see, there's no RGB on the fan, and the speed is from 500 to 2000, which means it can deliver the superb cooling performance for your mm -hmm. system. Right now, we only have one pack. No and worries. size is 120 and the NSRP is 99.99. So this is really competitive price. If you want to find the similar product in the Amazon, especially the well-known brand like the Notua or the Be Quiet, you have to spend more money. But someone take give you the affordable and reasonable price, but the best cooling performance. And now let's move to the all-in-one. So this year we have a brand new series, which is TH. We have 120, 240, and 360. It's the ARGB version, so you can use the multiple software or the little controller to switch the lighting. Okay, here you can see this here, the controller. Okay, mm. and you can also change the color. So it's really uh, simple, and easy to control. 120 is 69.99, 240 is 99.99, and 360 is $129.99. This is the whole new product concept. You won't find any similar in this industry. Okay, it's called a Flow Yasi. CPU and memory all in one liquid cooler. Some time ago, you used to have these products to actually illuminate and cool down the memory, right? Like you say, we want to give your um, integrated solution not only for your CPU, but also for your memory. But uh, there's a limitation for the, for the memory. The only memory you can use is our Toughering RC, because this is especially designed for the Floy RC. It's the ARGB version. You can see the water block, the memory water block with the full lighting strip. And the CPU water block also have the ARGB version. Mm -hmm. And the fan is also the ARGB. So it can, you can switch the lighting for all the components through the software or the controller here. I just put the buttons and you can see the color I change again. Va a ser posible traer, eh, realizar cierto bundle en okay. donde vengan la RAM con el IO. Ya todo en un paquete puede ser 16, 32, pero todavía está en, en, que, en cómo se traigan. Y porque, como te lo dijeron, eh, son solo se pueden usar con nuestras memorias. Por eso, me, RC, por eso me interesaba que fuera un bundle. Pero cuando llegas a hacer el bundle, si sí sale mucho y somos más económico o un precio mejor que si tú compraras un all-in-one de otra marca con memoria RAM de otra marca que tengan eh, RGB y todo eso, eh, si sí te sale mejor comprar todo Thermaltake, tanto el All-in-One con el bloque de las memorias RAM y nuestras memorias RAM. Aparte de que las memorias RAM, las RC, a pesar de que tú las ves muy sencillas, así con el puro plate, son de la, de la gama alta de, de, de Thermaltake, okay. igual que las Top RAM. Oh, those are pretty. <risa> Okay, so this year we have two brand new CPU water block. One is our one is our Pacific X1 Plus, and the other is our Pacific W7 Plus. And both of the size can be supported by the TTRGB Plus. Okay, so you can apply the lighting through our software, and it has 12 LED inside. So, like I say, it can deliver the uh, stunning lighting effect. And let's take a close look. This is the NX1 Plus. The concept is from the all-in-one. 
and so it looks like a little bit different compared to our existing product because we we add the depth. The other is the W7 Plus. It's <laughs> identical to our existing product, but we also add the new features. Uh, here you can see the upper cover is transparent, so you can see the inner structure really clearly and also see the coolant colors. So make your system more colorful. The Pacific X1 is $119.99. And next is our brand new pump reservoir. And this year, we redesigned the bracket here. It's really strong and solid. If you put this one into your chassis, it can increase the stability. And if you want to save this, the space, you want to get more space, you can use the bracket here to mount into a radiator and a fan. And here, most importantly, we make the inlay and inlay and outlay <laughs> rotatable, which means you can simply fix the angle issue when you're doing the tubing. Uh, this is $199.99, and it can also support it by the TTRGB Plus. And the next one is our fittings. So basically we give you many color options. We have the classic black and white or the unique gold and rose gold. So wow. it can make your system look more colorful. And next is our temperature and the flow rate sensor. We call TF2. And this is the upgrade version. And this one can also support it by the TTRG Plus. So all the data, including the temperature or the flow rate, you can monitor by our software. And the last part is our thermal grease. And this year, we have two brand new thermal grease. One is TG30 and the other is TG50. They have diamond pounder inside to increase the performance. And also, we give you a clean kit, a scrapper, and a stencil. So, <laughs> yeah, this stencil is really important for you. You can see this is the honeycomb structures. And when you apply the thermal grease on the CPU, with this stencil, it can right fit on your CPU, not too much or not too less. Let me show you how to use this little tool. You just put the stencil on the CPU and use the scrapper to apply the thermal grease and move out. So you can <laughs> see here, the shape of the thermal grease is like the honeycomb structures. Okay, so that is all apart for the thermal grease. Oh, sorry, by the way, the T330 NSRP is $9.99. And the TG50 is $30.99. All right. All right. So to begin with, I'd like to introduce our latest flag, uh, flagship. And this is Topfront RGB with uh, 4600 megahertz. So this is our new overclocking gaming Topfront RGB memory. So we use the Hynix d -Dive. And this is the latest Hynix IC chips um, it can afford a higher voltage, so it will suit to the overclocking or the extreme gaming. So you will have the better performance and better overclocking potential. So the MSRP is uh, 199.99 now, and USD dollar. Okay, so we also have the white version. How wow. you want? Yeah. Personally, I will prefer the white one. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm also into <laughs> yeah. those, uh, yeah, those really setups. <laughs> yeah. So oh, this oh. is a bigger capacity series. So now we have two times sixty, uh, two times sixteen gigabyte and uh, two times thirty-two gigabyte. So in this series, we use a Hynix AI. Uh, you can see this is a one-side memory dump, uh, dummy module. So the Hynix AI is a two gigabyte IC chip. Uh, here is a two times 16 gigabyte, right? Which means one stick is 16 gigabyte. So let's do a quick math. So we have uh, <laughs> two, two, two gigabyte IC chips, right? Yeah. But we have eight, eight. So the total memory capacity will be the 16. All right. Oh. Yes. Yeah. That's... So this will be uh, our our big capacity series. And if you want more capacity, right? If you need more, you are under 32 gigabyte. So we also use the Hynix A die. And this is the Tafran Z, uh, Z1 RGB, so this is the entry level. 
We have two speed. Like the first we have 32 and next is 36. They all are the two times eight eight gigabyte modules. So this is really suitable for uh, entry level players. Like if they build their build rigs first time. And what ecosystem can be complete without the accessories. So now let's take a look about these brand new things that they're bringing up. So let's take a look. Our, our new gaming chairs. Now these two are our newest cyber chair E500. I'm not sure if you have seen it. Um, the purpose for this chair, as you can, as you might know, is to have a fully ergonomic purpose chair. And for the surface, we use a mesh cloth finish. So it's durable and it's flexible and it's very good um, ventilation. Okay, and for the gas spring, we use a class four gas spring. So it's very good support, durable and reliable. And for the, the uh, wrist rest, this is a 4D wrist rest. So up, down, left, right, uh, front and back and uh, parallel movement. And for and this comes in two colors, uh, black and white. For black, it's already in market. Um, so it's already on sale. It's at uh, 50, uh, 599.99 USD. And for the white one, it's um, a bit, um, it, uh, it's a $100 more. So it's at six, six ninety nine ninety nine. Hello, hi guys. Hi, hi. <laughs> so I'm back. Oh, back in a hurry. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. So um, as you can see, this uh, is a very colorful uh, animated area. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, the Miku series, the Miku gaming series. Has the name Miku gaming series? Okay? I can tell. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> yes. So for this series, uh, same as the Argent series, there are a total of six products, ranging from the case, which is the Versa H26. Yes, this here, and we also have the radiator fan, the Pure Plus RGB 12 fans. Okay, and the third product is this, the Hasuda Miku gaming chair. And the next one is the Level 20 RGB gaming mouse Hasuda Miku edition. Okay, and the final one is of course the keyboard. Oh, sorry, and the next one is the keyboards, also Level 20 RGB Hasuda <laughs> Miku edition again. Okay, nice. And the <laughs> Thank you. So the final product is the uh, the Post G100 headset. So as you can see, uh, the purpose of this uh, Miku Edition is to have really synchronized color de design, um, which are the baby blue and the pink. So you can see those two colors pretty much all over the place. Well, there you have it, guys. All the new products from Thermal Take. What do you think? Well, if you want to express all the concerns and all the doubts that you have, or probably just tell me how amazing these products were, well, that's why we have uh, comments in the down below part. So please don't hesitate and leave me your comments in that section. So now I'm also gonna ask you for a couple of things, just to not lose the tradition here in the channel. So thank you guys for everything. And I'm going to ask you to like this video if you liked it, disliked it if you actually don't love those cute kittens that I love so much. And well, also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it before. And well, I'm just gonna say bye in the traditional way. Remember, my name is Ed Corsa and this is Digital Drug. Y estamos en el viaje. <laughs>